I just thought I'd point out this little billboard right here. You just don't see this kind of stuff in the United States. It says, hey, Poppy, book your next trip at partyvillas.com. Room starts at $85 per night. Your villas, your rules, no taboo. There you go. See that? It's like all types of shit going on in there. I got like sex swings, sex 69 behind the bed. Some real shit. It's crazy. Too funny. Only in the Dominican Republic, in a souvenir shop at the resort, are you going to find urinary pregnancy tests? Let's see, is there any sunblock? Nope, but there is gel sex lubricant. And just in case you forgot, of course, loose condoms. You gotta love the Dominican Republic. You like it? I love it. Empezamos la... Adventurers, we are here in Sasua now, driving down the main drag. There's a lot of traffic at the moment. A lot of action. As you can tell already, it's already getting crazy. We've only been here two minutes. Must be coming down the back way to the hotel. Here. Oh, I got some new construction going on over here. Nice. Uh oh, Dulce Secreto. There it is. The sex hotel. Dulce Secreto is a great place you can crash at if you happen to have a place outside of Sasua. It's really close to the casino, so if you find a girl there and you want to stop off for only a couple hours, this is definitely the spot to do it at. Since I'm passing by it, I might as well tell you a little bit about Dulce Secreto. They have automatic doors. You drive your car in, you put the door up, you put it down, and nobody knows that you're there. Nice. As you turn the corner here, you're going to walk up the steps until you see your sweet secret room. There's a large bed, a fan. The air conditioning's really cool. And of course, over here, you have your sex chair. They got the Dulce Secreto handbook right here. And for four hours, it's only 600 Dominican pesos, which is approximately $10 US. The other thing I wanted to show you is this awesome speakeasy type of payment system. So you turn it like this, you put the money in, they take it, they turn it back and give you a receipt. Super cool. Anyway, back to our regular scheduled program. All right, now we're pulling up to the to the resort right here. Here's the outside. We're about to make our big entrance. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, you know. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Estás celebrando en tu cuarto, sabe agridulce como a buen impacto, baby. It's a party. Put your drinks up. Two shots to the heart. Now I'm fucked up, so we'll do it your way. No, I go party because I'm fed. So there is the front right there. Let's go in and uh, see what we got to do. <laughs> we made it. Hola. Uh, we have two reservations. Two reservations. Yes, sir. Do you have your passport with? Yes, sir. Reservation are booking on your or his name? Me. Your name? Yes, sir. Is there um, restaurants on the property? Yes, we, do. we have the swimming pool also. What about an exercise room? 
We have a gene on you. Have a gene? Yeah, of course. With weights and everything? Everything. Oh, wow. Told you. Yeah. I'm going to score to you to the road. Okay, sir. Which one is the one? I'm going to go to the one. I'm going to go to the one. I'm going to go to the one. Okay, you're going to go to the one. Okay. You're going to go to the one. What is your phone? Your phone go to her room? Yes. Hey KJ, just got here to the On V Resort. Wait until you see this shit. I'm staying in 408. Okay, this is one of their pool suites. All right, can't wait to show you this shit. As you walk in right here, there it is, your own private fucking pool right here in the room. Bay KJ has stayed in a lot of rooms, but he's never stayed in a room with his own fucking pool, bro. What? You got a sexy senorita right over here on the wall, looking pretty cool. As we walk from the pool area in your room to this fucking huge bed. Holy shit, that bed is huge. As we walk this way, past the bed, we go into where you got a little sink area, and just like, I guess, everything in this place, look how big this fucking shower is. Holy shit. Look at this. The shower is literally the size of the entire room. <laughs> It's wall-to-wall -wall tiles. They have the rain uh, shower going on right there. It's got a sliding barn door um, to close the bathroom. Check that shit out. That's pretty fucking awesome. So whether you're in the shower or outside the shower, you know, you can close it like so. Pretty cool. Here is the mini fridge. Let's see if they got anything stocked in there. Nope, no stockage in the mini fridge, but you do have one, so that's good. Here is the view of my room, from my room. Looks like I can look right out. There's a DJ out there playing right now. Not too much action going on yet, but it is still earlier on in the day. Looks like they're setting up for some party tonight, which is, uh, you know, sounds about right. Anyhow. So far, so good. This place looks fucking amazing. What do you guys think? This cost me $110 a night. That's it. $110 to have your own fucking pool. Unfortunately, after that point, everything seemed to go downhill rather quickly. The Envy definitely was not what I thought it was going to be. Stay tuned for more. You know your boy of AKJ is always honest with you guys. I want to make sure you know what you're purchasing when you pay the ticket price. We're at the Envy, which is a pretty cool resort so far. Room is off the chain, but the gymnasium, the gymnasium here, you know, leaves a little bit to be desired. That's for sure. So take a look around here. They have. Mark, what are these things called, racks? Yeah. They got two racks. They got one bench over here. They got some free weights. And basically they have a dip uh, pull-up bar. Got some punching bags over here. But it's a pretty sad state of affairs, to say the least. Uh, I expected a little bit more from the gym. What's up, adventurers? Hey KJ, heading out today. I'm gonna to show you a little bit of the Envy um, resort I'm staying at. First off, we're gonna do a little bit of a flashback. Cool. You know those parts in movies wow. where it seems very insignificant at the time, but it actually means quite a bit? You saw the guy there turn off the air conditioning, right? And the reason he did that 
is because if you leave it on, okay, sure. it literally drenches the entire wall, the side bed stand, and the floor, which you will soon see. The air conditioner is leaking all the way down the wall, all over the floor. It drenched a couple of my things. As you can see, there's fucking, oh uh, fuck. But Bay KJ, who cares? So the room has some water running down it. The gym's not very good. But at least there's gonna be some super hot girls to look out and have sex with, right? Of course there is. Oh wait. All right, so I'm walking out to the main pool area where typically all the ladies you would think would be around. But as you can see right now, it's approximately about 11 o'clock um, lunchtime and there is not a single fucking person here. I mean, it is desolate. But there's just absolutely nothing going on. Okay, adventurers. So I'm here sitting poolside at the Anvi Resort in Sisua, Dominican Republic. And as you can see, I'm literally the only person here besides one other gentleman sitting over. Looks like he's having lunch or a drink or something by the pool. There's not a single girl in sight. Even last night, I thought maybe at night girls would come in, you know, for nighttime entertainment. But no such luck either. Right in through here, supposedly, there is a strip club. Just wanted to take a look real quick. I don't know if you can see that, but here's a strip club, but it's only open on, I think, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Here's the strip club here at the Envy. Kind of give you an idea what the strip club looks like. We got two stripper poles, seating, bar. But people come here on vacation during the week. I mean, there is absolutely nothing going on. So here I am at the strip club here at the Envy. Just taking a look around. There's not much going on really, obviously, during the day. There's, I don't think it's only open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, maybe. So the night that we leave, the day that we leave, um, that's when it opens up. So it kind of sucks for us. Um, so don't even think about coming to this resort during the week, for sure. It's not worth it. One of the other things, adventures, I wanted to mention about the Anvi Resort is it's quite a ways from the center of Sasua. So if you want to get down to the main drag, you got to walk quite a ways, or you got to take a motor scooter, or if you have rented a car, you'd have to drive to where the action is. It is not close to the town center at all. Not like New Garden, where if you stay there, you literally can walk around the corner and you're right there in the action. It's time for the Vacay J summary. Unfortunately for the Anvi, my experience here was not very good. I'm sure other people have been here, maybe when there was a lot more action going on, but I didn't see any of that. Maybe it's only a weekend spot. So I suggest not coming here during the week. The water coming down from the air conditioning unit all the way down the wall onto the side tables onto my things and floor are really unexcusable because the room is not cheap there was absolutely no sexy senoritas at this hotel whatsoever in my opinion it's just too far outside the action to enjoy all the things that it has to offer so unfortunately vkj is going to have to give this one a thumbs down make sure you hit that like and subscribe button Hit that notification button and stay tuned for more Vacay J action. Sexy Secret Vacations, out.